our whole team is extremely happy. We have never been having so many visitors. Yesterday was, was total chaos at the beginning hours and today it was even worse. So yes, very happy. And good quality of visitors. Every yeah. corridor is full with mm -hmm. visitors. Mm -hmm. This is my 30th year now in Basel. Um, yeah, extremely proud. We have our colleagues from Spain, from uh, Germany, who also organize, from Birmingham, also organize uh, bus fairs. And I just invite them, they have little boots here. It's, it's working very well. And of course, I'm very proud. Also yeah. very tired, but very proud. this segment coach uh, and then we are going to bring uh, intercity segment so this is going to be not easy for the intercity segment but this is going to be also sold and if you look at uh, the stepwise approach we are going to have at first 14 meter then 12 meter and it's going to go like this beyond we are not going to invest anything else out of battery electric vehicles we are going to invest just euro 7 segment to coaches and from beside of that we will going to bring very good battery electric vehicles I'm very happy to, to present to you the booth we have today. Uh, we have a lot of innovation, hybridization, uh, fine particles emission reduction. And of course, we have this vehicle, the MAN TGE, which is a minibus, uh, a van from MAN. And it's the first prototype we equipped uh, with a Thelma retarder. Uh, we have a lot of OEMs asking us to develop specific products to break for electric vehicles. You know, when the battery are fully uh, charged, the, 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 the motor is not able to uh, regenerate electricity, so it's not able to break. And in such a case, uh, OEMs are asking us uh, to develop specific retarders as eddy current brake uh, for the vehicles. Seen the Telma hybrids, so India, as uh, Ariel explained, uh, we are around 2,000, and we are expected to multiply this uh, in a year time. And then uh, we are looking at different applications, mining application in Varisa, and then the LNG uh, uh, tractor trailer with BCV. And we are moving more, more closer to Ashok Leyland. We recently supplied some rear engine coaches for Ashok Leyland. So with all this is multiplying our confidence. And then we are also hard fast to uh, localize it as much as possible.
we are communicating our re-entering in Europe. We used to be here in the past with a plant in Portugal, Coimbra, and now we are back launching the G8 in here. It's a commercial movement, so we are planning to produce this bus in the factories that we have around the globe, mainly in Brazil at this point in time. So it's really to re-enter in this market. Partnering with our OEMs, uh, players, uh, starting with Volvo, specifically in France and Italy, but very open to discuss other opportunities in different markets of Europe. That we basically won one of the Global Design Awards. So design is one of the things, safety, comfort, uh, functionality. We are basically dividing solutions to reach drivers, operators and passengers. messages we are going uh, into the future with secured steps so we have many challenges in front of us first of all the sustainability pressure which we are trying to uh, avoid with our new products electrical CNG and in the future hydrogen but on the other side we have also a big regulative pressure, mainly coming from the European regulations. Therefore, we are expanding our R&D power and now have 300 engineers in our R&D focusing on the regulative, regulative issues and also on the uh, development of new products. So the main, the main message for us is we are now uh, 40 years know-how we are now expanding that to other manufacturing locations. And as a first step, we are now acquiring a new factory in Uzbekistan, serving to the whole uh, Central Asian and Middle East countries. 